Exactly. It's about the moment moving people. You know, an iPhone is photojournalism at its peak right now. Anyone can do it. But being able to comp compose it, no one to hit the decisive moment, that's, that's just something that's, that's intuition. You know, I really haven't gotten in a bad situation with any of the surfers, ever. I've done this since 95. I think they know I've been doing this for long enough that they let me do my thing. I was working for surfing, and Nick goes, hey, I want to go to France and shoot the tour behind the stages. So I flew to France the first time, and I see Al Hunt, and I'm like, hey, I want to do this, and Al Hunt's going, well, you want to do what? And it opened up a whole new realm, and when I was there, I got this photo. Um, Sonny had just got some new um, Blue Hawaii boards, and he had no logos on them. So Kelly goes, I'll draw the logo for you. I walk in this little backstage room, and there's Kelly drawing the BH on, on Sonny's board. These guys are one and two in the world at this point. And it was, just, it was a cool moment, that was the opening spread. And I think that was the photo that showed me, wow, I can do this. And I think those guys will let me do it. And that was the beginning of realizing that I think I have something to offer with my art. So in the competitors area, this is about 2009 at, at the Hurley Pro at Trestles and Dane had made it all the way to the final. And he goes to me, he's like, Sharon, he I'm so dehydrated. He's like, I need, I need a coffee or a beer. And I just go, no, no, you can't do that. And then one of the doctors came on and said, hey, I can give you an IV. And Dane's like, I don't know. And I'm like, dude, NBA guys do it all the time. It's okay to do that. So he sat down to get an IV. And of course, you know, he's behind a curtain and I'll be in private. And I wanted to get a photo of it. So I keep, I creep around the corner and Dane looks at me and he, he was totally good with it. But a couple of people from the ASP at the time, they freaked out and they didn't want to kick me out because I, sh I shot it. And I said, hey, he's okay with some documents. I'm, that was one of the more where I just really pushed the limit because they told me not to do it. And I did it anyway. I get my hand slapped all the time by the WSL or the award back in the ASP for maybe pushing my limit a little bit. But I think, no, I still think that they understand that what I've created there, this capturing the intimacy around the tour or where it's been in the backstage area and stuff, I think it's something, it, it brings something to the fans. Like, you know, I had the shot of uh, Adriano praying in Queensland at, at the Quick Pro. And he's just sitting there, he's praying with his, with his coach. I mean, that's so intimate. You know, and you don't see that on the web. They're not going to show that. And I just, it, it takes me a, a fraction of a second to a click and get out. And Adriano didn't even know I shot it. And I just think um, that's intimacy. Or someone's somebody in a corner with their hand in their face. I got a million photos of surfers with hands in their face. It seems like when, when shit hits the fan, they're going to grab the hands in their face and go, oh, fuck, what have I done? And I just think those moments are just um, pure. For some reason, they don't, seem to, they don't seem to get that on the web as much.